Hey! Quiet down. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome! <laughs> what did I just say? Nah, still fine. Senpai? You... You're not, like, a stunt double or something, right? Same to you. Wait, that's not my point. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm just so happy. No one cares about my scheme! Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're... Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety! Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. What a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... uh... I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was 
was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. Oh, it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Senpai? Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but... We really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <clears throat> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well. I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you. Okay. I should write something. 